niche can we do? You know, we can kind of move, we can kind of improvise, kind of play. Let's make some pieces for that setup. And it's very much about composing being a collective thing rather than a private thing, which I guess is not the traditional idea of what composing is. Mm. Composing is usually like a lonely thing and it's a genius composer that invents absolutely everything about the piece and uh, dictates all of the minute details. Last night's attempt is uh, there's four of us. Um, we are a group of composer performers and um, we make work together, we compose together, rehearse together, perform together and uh, all of those things are sort of mixed. It started off as very much a yeah. night. It was very much an event rather than a group uh, but then we started performing our own work and performing other people's work and gradually we did more and more of that and then we started writing specifically for the group and the skills that we knew were in the group. We show each other work and give a lot of kind of quite direct feedback and sort of say well actually I think this is not working or we need to chop the end off and all this kind of stuff and then um, increasingly perform together and make work for us as a kind of performing unit. I want to play a game. 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 The composing and the performing and the rehearsing is not so separate for us. Um, so we do a lot of composing in the rehearsals. Um, and we compose our own work and we, com we perform our own work and we perform each other's work. And we also sort of a little bit compose each other's work as well. So it's all mixed up. My work tends to feature found materials and pulses and repetition and some element often of endurance and then I'm interested in sort of band aesthetics or aesthetics of pop music and band playing but with a sort of slightly abstracted quality. I work a lot with objects and drawing and I quite often make scores that are art objects and there's a lot of sort of blurring of the lines between music and art, um, sometimes blurring the lines between text and all of the above. I like to work with material, stuff. I love like rattling and shuffling sounds. I like thinking about how the body is clumsy and comes in contact with materials and the, the materials have a life of their, their own and that they sort of, the, the sounds they create sort of are musical in themselves. I had always sort of been curious to these modes of vocal improvisation also like vocal behavior. Um, in these sort of more extreme improvisers that use the voice. Some of it sounds like extreme pain, some of it sounds like extreme ecstasy, some of it sounds like sort of existential deathly groans and then also orgasmic pleasure and weird like giving birth sounds and it's like all of these all of these sort of sounds are actually close together and not on opposite ends of spectrum. At the moment, I'm very interested in making work that's between composition and something more like theatre and choreography. My piece, Trolling, is this piece that was my physically and that kind of loops in this very mysterious way because different layers of sound get added and it reframes where you are, what the weather's like, what the atmosphere is, what the temperature is. 
almost what era it is. 